Welcome back to our YouTube channel, this is Eric from Invensys Learning, we are back again, with a series of tutorials on DevOps, today, in this tutorial, we are going to discuss an interesting topic, DevOps versus Agile, after watching this tutorial, I can promise you that the difference between DevOps and Agile will be absolutely clear to you, so without any delay, let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe to Invensys Learning, and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. In this video, we will discuss, the key differences between DevOps and Agile. First let us see the agenda, first and foremost, we will start with the history of SDLC, after that, we will start with the definition of Agile, and the need for Agile model, post that, we will discuss about DevOps, and why do we need DevOps. Then, we will start with the difference between DevOps and Agile and finally we will conclude with the learning path. I am sure, you guys might have heard the term, software development. We will start off by understanding, what is software development? And its importance, and the phases of the life cycle. Software development, is nothing but the conversion of customer ideas, into complete operational software. This process is known as software development. Software development is vast, and it requires a systematic plan, to release the software. And this systematic process is known as SDLC. So what exactly is SDLC? SDLC basically stands for, Software Development Life Cycle, it is the detailed blueprint, that defines how software is developed, tested, and maintained the application. SDLC outlines the methodology, for the betterment of application development. It is also known as the Application Development Life Cycle. And it is a long process. Software Development Life Cycle breaks down the process of software development and helps us to evaluate the software development process. Software development has several phases, so let us see the phases that are involved in SDLC. The phases that are present in SDLC are requirement, design, implementation, verification, and maintenance. So now, let us start with the phases in detail. The requirement phase, is also known as the planning phase, which allows the development team, to get the requirements from the client, once the requirements, are documented, then the process will be moved further to the design phase. The design phase will start with the planning of requirements, and their feasibility, where the architect will create the required prototype, and send it to the client. This phase, will include the user interface design with its core functionalities, after that, the client's approval designs, will be forwarded to the development team. Here the implementation phase begins, by the name implementation, it is responsible, for converting the designs to application code. The application code is created by the development team, with all the functionalities. Post that, the code will be sent to the operations team, for testing. Because, we cannot move the application directly to the internet without validating the code, so here the verification phase begins. Verification is an important phase, inside software development, so the code is verified using test cases, and there are multiple techniques involved in verification and storing the reports for further use. If the verification is passed, then the code files will be moved to the live server, if not, the code will be sent back to the implementation phase. Here, let us assume, the application code is passed with all test cases, then the application will be deployed over the internet. There the maintenance phase starts, which is completely responsible, for the maintenance of the servers and application, and its dependencies. The feedback of the resources, is gathered and, shared with the development team for rectification. The process will repeat for the entire development. There are various software development life cycle models, defined and designed during the software development, so let us see various life cycles present in the IT industry. So let us understand the life cycle models present in the IT industry. We have different life cycles, that are followed in the market so that we will discuss one by one. Waterfall model, agile methodology, DevOps. In the early stage, of application development, this is a well-documented process, where the requirements are given, and asks the developers to create software. To facilitate this process, we have followed a model called Waterfall, which is the oldest model, in the development of software. Post that, we have faced some problems with the waterfall model, due to changes in the requirements on regular basis, so for having these changes, our market adopt a methodology known as Agile, and later, with the automation in place we have DevOps methodology. This is an overview of the software development life cycle, let us explore them further. We will now start with our first question, what is Agile? Agile software development, refers to software development methodologies, centered around the idea of iterative development. This development methodology mainly focuses, on team collaboration and customer feedback. Agile will pick the tasks, based on the priority, and work with shorter releases. 
With the help of iterative development, this model achieves continuous improvement. Along with the minimal viable product. So now, let us discuss why we need an Agile model. The answer to this question, why we need an Agile model is simple, to overcome the heavy documentation process, of the waterfall model and, increase the collaboration between the team members. Instead of working on long documentation, in the waterfall model, Agile team will work on delivering, the working product and deliver to the customer for the feedback. There are many benefits of using Agile, here are the major aspects that are considered over waterfall, they are. Superior quality product. Flexibility. Continuous improvement. Customer satisfaction. Now, let us start with the introduction to DevOps and the need of it. So we will start with, what is DevOps? DevOps is a combination of two words, developer and operations, and its main purpose is to resolve the conflicts among developer and operation team, along with the automation. This methodology is used mostly in the current day industry to deliver the product continuously and also gets regular feedback to rectify. DevOps originated to maintain team coordination. So DevOps is the key to maintain the team coordination between the developer and the operation team with the automation. DevOps originated with the drawbacks of the waterfall, agile, lean model. With this, we have learned about DevOps. Now, we will start with, why do we need DevOps? Before understanding the need for DevOps, we will start with the models prior to it and their drawbacks. Waterfall model. The waterfall model cannot facilitate the shorter releases. Waterfall model has huge documentation, which delays the process. Waterfall model does not allow the end users to use the product until it is finished. Waterfall model lacks the adaptability of new challenges, and the waterfall model cannot facilitate the shorter releases. So, to facilitate the Agile model by working on the priority. Now, Agile helps in faster releases, but for improving the quality, we have a lean model that follows seven principles. But there is a drawback in coordinating with the team. These are the major life cycles used prior to DevOps. Now, with these we have a clear idea that teams are lacking in team coordination with the earlier models. To overcome this, DevOps is an alternative model that resolves conflicts and automates the process. Here are the major advantages of DevOps. Shorter development cycles, faster innovation. Reduced deployment failures, rollbacks, and time to recover. Improved communication and collaboration. Increased efficiencies. Reduced costs and IT headcount. With this, we have seen what is DevOps and its need. Now, let us start with the differences between DevOps and Agile. DevOps is a practice of bringing the development and operations together whereas, Agile is an iterative strategy that emphasizes collaboration, customer feedback, and small rapid releases. DevOps is concerned with continuous testing and delivery, whereas the Agile methodology is concerned with rapid change. DevOps works with the tools to maintain the team collaboration. The Agile technique can be applied within a variety of tactical frameworks. DevOps requires a large team to handle the operations, while Agile requires a small team. With major releases, DevOps pushes towards deadlines and benchmarks. The ideal goal is to send code to production on a daily or weekly basis. But for Agile development is structured into sprints. For each sprint, this period is substantially less than a month. Specifications and design papers are used in DevOps discussions. Thus, the operations team fully understand the software release and its hardware and network implications for the deployment process. Whereas in Agile, Scrum is one of the most popular approaches for adopting Agile software development. A daily Scrum meeting is held. DevOps completely relies on automation where automation is its key feature, but in Agile, it doesn't emphasize completely on automation. DevOps focus on operational and business requirements, whereas the Agile focuses mainly on functional and non-functional readiness. DevOps divides the skill set among developers and operations team, whereas Agile focuses on training the team to have similar or same skills. DevOps incorporates unplanned work to operations team, but Agile adds structure to the planned work in the team. DevOps have been extended beyond the development process to include system and application management, but Agile Manifesto focus on individual interaction, customer collaboration, adopting the changes. Agile principles can only be achieved fully when DevOps practices are used and Agile is incomplete without the DevOps practices. In DevOps, sufficient documentation is required for smooth working, but in Agile, a little documentation is mandatory to increase flexibility. Due to good collaboration and continuous testing,
DevOps allow the production of high-quality products with low risk. After each sprint in Agile, the product's quality improves and the risk reduces. DevOps unites development and operations in a CCD environment, while Agile focuses on optimizing the development life cycle. Both DevOps and Alie allows the organizations to respond quickly by addressing the business need. In DevOps, individuals has fixed responsibilities and particularly in management issues. Responsibilities and hierarchy can be interchangeable among team in Agile. In DevOps, makes the team to adopt changes, whereas in Agile, team members are ready to adopt the changes. Both DevOps and Agile models believe in fast software development, and their principles are based on how fast software can be developed, without causing harm to the customer or operations. DevOps is more associated with cost-cutting, and Agile is more synonymous with lean and reducing waste. DevOps will allow the team to follow the existing Agile workflows, but Agile works with its principles and it is not extended to the DevOps workflows. Popular DevOps tools include Puppet, Chef, TeamCity OpenStack, and AWS. Some popular Agile tools are Jira, Bugzilla, and Canboard. Few other differences are Software development, testing, and deployment happen in both DevOps and Agile. However, pure Agile tends to stop after these three stages. In contrast, DevOps includes operations, which happen continually. Therefore, monitoring and software development are also continuous. Ultimately, the goals of Agile and DevOps are the same, to improve the speed and quality of software development. These two approaches are extended with each other, to deliver the software on time. Agile and DevOps seek to bring the end-user value, in a more efficient way, but from different angles. Till now, we have seen about the difference between Agile and DevOps, now we will conclude this session by understanding the resources to enhance your career. This highly in-demand DevOps course from the DevOps Institute will teach you to support organizational efforts and reducing costs while increasing agility, quality and customer service. Enroll for this two-day DevOps Foundation course to learn key DevOps terminology, principles, practices and case studies. And for Scrum there are several frameworks so we at Invensys offer a variety of courses under Agile Project Management. We offer many Agile Project Management courses designed to help you lead projects and address cultural changes. Certified professionals ensure a smooth transition from rigid processes to a customer and business value-driven approach. For more information, reach out to us over the comments and also visit our website, Invensys Learning. Invensys Learning is a leading certification training provider for individuals and enterprises globally. Our expertise in providing globally recognized IT and technical certification courses has enabled us to be one of the trusted certification training partners for many Fortune 500 organizations and government institutions worldwide. Invensys Learning has trained and certified thousands of professionals across various categories such as Agile Management, Project Management, IT Service Management, Quality Management, DevOps, and IT Security and Governance. Invensys Learning Certification Training Programs adhere to global standards such as PMI, IAST, Axelos, Isica, DevOps Institute, Exxon, TUFSUD, and PeopleCert. Invensys Learning provides five different modes of training in the form of Instructor-led live online training Instructor-led classroom training On-site group training Focused one-to-one training Self-paced e-learning Job roles that can benefit from DevOps and Agile training include, but are not limited to, DevOps engineers, integration specialists, operations managers, system administrators, network administrators, project managers, business managers, automation architects, application developer, software tester, business analyst. For more information, reach out to us over the comments and also visit our website, Invensys Learning.